It was the social media outage felt around the world. Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp were all down for hours today. The outage started just before noon and came back online around 6. Now, those social media sites have become more than just places to connect. For many businesses, they're crucial to reaching customers and making money. 12 News reporter Rob Nesbitt spoke with a personal trainer about how the outage affected him and joins us live in studio with how social media is also business media. Rob? Shannon, we don't need social media, but we find reasons to use it, some for business reasons. Today, the closed sign had to be put in their social media windows. When the pandemic turned gym workouts into home workouts, it became the perfect storm for fitness influencers. My business grew by, I mean, at least two to 300 percent. Trevor Franklin's Instagram has grown to over 98,000 followers. He took his personal training program outdoors last summer. Oh, stay with it, stay with it. All of his free online content turns into actual profit. Like, I would put up two or three videos a week, and it would literally equal two to three new clients. You know what I mean? So it was a direct impact on my business. On Monday, his posting, like everyone else's, had to come to a halt. Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp experiencing a global outage for hours. The cause is unclear, but happening at a time when Facebook is under fire. Former Facebook product manager Francis Haugen plans on testifying before Congress this week, telling 60 Minutes that Facebook is lying about how it handles hate, political speech, and misinformation. Facebook has demonstrated they cannot act independently. Facebook over and over again has shown it chooses profit over safety. So that's why I believe. Facebook chief executive Mark Zuckerberg is being pressed for answers by Senator Ed Markey. The Massachusetts senator is troubled by claims the social media giant allows advertisers to target teens with dangerous content. And yet they continue to ignore it. So it's clear it's their business plan. It's clear they want to exploit children because they know they're good future customers. A Senate Commerce Subcommittee meeting is being held this week about Facebook and Instagram's impact on young users. Senator Markey says the hearing is good oversight, but that real changes should have been made years ago. But ultimately, we're going to have to pass very tough, specific laws that prohibit this kind of activity by Facebook. Chief Technology Officer for Facebook tweeted about the outage today, saying it may take some time to get back to 100 percent. He also apologized to the businesses and users who depend on Facebook. Reporting live in studio, I'm Rob Nesbitt, 12 News.